if the acceleration is constant, uh, the velocity changes linearly, and the velocity uh, versus t graph is a linear straight line graph. And the slope of this graph will be the acceleration. And when t is equal to zero, the velocity is the initial velocity, v0. So v0 is defined as the velocity at the initial time. The expression for velocity, this expression can be derived from the definition of acceleration, in fact. So if we go by the definition of the acceleration, um, it is time derivative of the velocity, dv over dt, and if we multiply both sides of this equation by the differential time dt, we get the differential in v, the velocity, is equal to a times dt. But the thing is, a, the acceleration is constant, which means it does not depend on time. So when we take the integral of both sides, for dv, the initial velocity is v0 and the final velocity v will be equal to the initial velocity, uh, the initial time, as we always take 0, to the final time, a dt. It is very easy to take these integrals, and this one is just v divided by v, v minus v0, and the right hand side is nothing but a times t. So we get the expression for the velocity, instantaneous velocity, for a constant accelerated motion.